Diyan na lang namatay yung PCB. Is there something raw? Uh, wait. Mali yung... <laughs> Mali yung binuksan ko. Close window. Um... Is there something wrong with... Playing... Kingdom Come Deliverance... Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him. Okay, naman tong intro. Oh, the morning. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. <laughs> but Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own car. Graphics. Um. Yes. We're not in medium graphics setting. Um. Uh. Advanced setting. Sunain. Of confirm, yes. Um, continue. Di ko alam kung ano talagang problema eh. Bigla na lang siyang ano eh. Wait lang. Bakit parang walang sound? May sound ba? <laughs> I mean, may sound naman ganina. Check. Okay. Uh... May sound naman. Ayun, may sound na yun.
Tiens la barre. Wow, wow, wow. Inilabas yung aso, tapos hindi pa papasukin. Ngayon, nakikita ko na yung camp. Um, sa last stream ko, medyo maraming beses ako namatay dito. Bain subs settings um game settings uh, yes yes it is on Get the drop on this, guys. Don't have any. I guess I'll use a bludgeoning tool. Don't know if that will <laughs> be. <laughs> hey. The combat in this game is so hard. I mean, I guess it's kind of realistic, but but man, it's too much.
And how do I even defeat these guys? You know. You wretches! Your mother shut you out, and your sisters have bigger corpse than you. Heal. Nichok, Nichok, me boy, the fellow. And die. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oi, Oi! Oh my god! I ha I seriously didn't know how Repeating this part over and over again because I have no idea what's happening. Wala pa man din akong arrows. Okay. I will just run. <laughs> run. Don't care what anybody says. They are still chasing me. Oh God! <laughs> Hang on, I've got to take care of his irritating lordship.
Mm -hmm. I have separated them too. Or at least that's what I like to think. Kill. I do not know what that means, but okay. No, here is the Yavo. Was it stunning? My dude, <laughs> you're not even doing anything to you. <laughs> They're doing everything to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, my lordship, what the man? Thought you're a lord and everything. Thought you're better than. Well, technically, I am better than him. You know what? I will save here. I don't. I don't care if I use my savior snaps. I don't want to keep walking. I wait till night time what will happen will they sleep or something See the other guy. What are you gaping at, you blow fly? Never seen a real man before. Look here, you bastard bitch. It show me your pits. Come now, stop pretending to be a man and get those others out. Okay, so it does not make any difference. That's it, it does not make any difference. The guy will still wake up. Hey, you! 
You sodomite! What's it like to be fucked by a horse, eh? Hey, you son of a! Hey, I untie him and then now what? Now what? What will I do? Huh? Um. Thanks, Henry. We need to get a salary. Right. He's so slow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so keep on. Now he, <laughs> he does nothing. Can I draw my sword? See? It just lies there. What the f- Ah! Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Huh? What? <laughs> I have seriously no idea why.
I suddenly move forward. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be stuck here. He hates your cape on. Don't have enough arrows. I don't have arrows. Ugh. How will I win this? I fucked your mother yesterday, pagan! She said your old man couldn't get it up! Better vanish quickly. Follow me. Come on. Faster. Excuse me. Come on, Sir Capon. We have successfully sneaked out. Can you any be can you be faster? Seriously, I don't want to fight those guys. Henry. Okay. A bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. They almost had me roasting on a spit. <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Now look here, dung grubber. Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? Oh, uh, I, I apologize, sir. I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> I'm yanking your pizzle, you dolt. Thank you for rescuing me. That wound doesn't look good, Sir Hans. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Okay. Do we automatically go somewhere? Because I cannot handle any more of those uh, walking shit. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, we did teleport. Get here, everybody! You help him. It's your capon.
<clears throat> so I guess it was all about timing. Okay. Buddy. Achievement unlock. Buddy. What does that mean? Am I buddies with the uh, Sir Capon now? This game is. Uh... A bunch of loading screen, uh, loading screens. How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. <laughs> sir, I... Uh... Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. Urgent what tidings. Now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? <laughs> soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Uh... Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. But I will let myself down for dying a bunch of times. But, uh, alas, we have a horse. We don't know much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Right now. Get your arses mounted up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. Um, I want to wash myself first. Can we go? Are you ready? I'm ready, Captain. I'm Good. ready as I'll ever be. quiet and do exactly as you're told. I don't know what Sir Radzig sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to listen. Yes, sir. Against all better judgment, they've decided to give you your own horse. 
A dappled gray beside my stallion is yours. Make sure you take good care of him. Now, mount up and ride behind us. Um, is it this one? Alright, men. Saddle up! And no dawdling. Last one there won't find me a happy man. Saddle bags. Entry. Plain bridle by the bridle is plain. Okay. Horse. Mm. <laughs> Horses are so big. Someone following us. Anyway, feeling ko kaya na mamatay kasi masyadong mataas yung graphics. Nung game, yung setting. Hmm, you think I've experienced that before? With the same game? Yeah. Follow men to the men to New Hof. I want a bike as well or something. Or a spear. I want to Where's your master? In in the paddock. Tabas baba. Wala, wala tabas baba. Wait lang.
Wait. Lang. Wait, um, hindi tumigil yung animation, di ko nakita. Mm, ano nangyari? <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? Quest, quest log. Scout the area, question the survivors, find where the radios are, to scout the area. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Go on. My husband went out. To see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices. And screaming. It's so stupid. 
It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Uh -huh. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Take care. Um, where are the other people? Another useless soldier come to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What is this? What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it. You useless prick! Huh? Wait, huh? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. God be with you. Let me load the game. Again. Because I, I do not know what happened. Um, what the... The cutscene was... Uh, just kidding. Smell. Ask. I. No. I saw you came with the soldiers, uh, and the sooner you know everything, scene, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you. No Go on. Then I, I. Did you recognize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where did you hear. I mean. I don't. Did you get a look at them? Who should I quite. Yeah. Good luck then. How could anyone be so cruel? Another useless. Wait. Why do I have plus two on? I'm not a soldier. I'm one of the survivors from Scalitz. Huh. I see, lad. Well then, what do you need to know? What in the world happened? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? How? You know the area. <coughs> How can I figure out which way they went? Hmm. They left in a hurry. You could see if there's a fence knocked down. Or a gate. <coughs> God be with you. Ah, it's just a normal villager. <coughs> Excuse me. Are there any more people to question?
This one got it in the back, and there's more of them over by the main stables. Be. Where are the other people? Don't have names. Say you were going to scout the area. difficult but I only need you to answer a few questions I'm here because Sir Radzig sent me Sir Radzig? yes what what do you need to know what actually happened here they they killed the animals and <laughs> why did they kill them did they take anything <laughs> no Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals. Their shrieks. Then smell. He shouted. And they murdered him. What happened after that? We ran outside and it was chaos. Oh. Animals were dying. The stables were burning. And those oh. demons everywhere. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell? Not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. Now I'll never forget it. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No. Demons? Just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more around the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. God be with you. Where did you really go? Do I have any... 
more people to question. I think I still have one more. Is it this guy? What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh. Oh, skill go. Carissa bonus. Ah, this wasn't done by animal. Uh. Hunting. Uh, what? Okay. Eh. Uh. Slug. Okay. Um. Shouldn't I inform the captain first? They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Like I said, shouldn't... They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Shouldn't I notify the captain? Brat from the farm, and then they slice you up. We'll find those bastards, and I'll send them straight to hell myself. <laughs> but I'll already be there, waiting for them. Don't talk that way. We'll get back to the camp, and they'll take care of you, eh? What? Yeah, Ginger was uh, kind of sus, if you ask me. He's like, I friend, I don't know him. Here just now, damn it. <laughs> Do 
you know anything about Ginger? I followed two of the raiders and they were talking about him. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange and then he ran off! Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. <laughs> and you don't know where Ginger could have gone? <coughs> Dunno. Ask Jakob. Take care now. I'm back. The Jakob. <coughs> Any idea where I might find this ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks. But Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? I, uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. And they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Good luck to you. Mm. Huh? Now what? Good day to you. I think Ginger is mixed up in it somehow. Hmm. Why do you say that? Those bandits I found in the woods were talking about him. They mentioned him by name? Well, they said Ginger. That is suspicious. But it could be a coincidence. He acted suspiciously when I questioned him. What do you mean? Well... He was squirming and didn't really say anything. He might just have been in shock. He disappeared right after we found those bandits in the woods. And I think I know where he went. Where? To the charcoal burners. He has friends there. We've got to find him. But if his friends really are hiding him, I doubt they'll talk to my men. You should search for him, Henry. Here we go. Before the trail turns cold, I'll send a report to Rattai. Very well, sir. Take care now. Um. Where am I supposed to go? Think about it, Duba. Duba. Nope. 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 Huh? Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, ma'am. I didn't notice. Where am I supposed to go? Um. Uh, 
I follow this stream. Yeah. Dude, I what's in shit? Perks. Okay. I think I'll dismount here. Oh, it's here. Where the fuck is Ginger? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for a ginger haired boy. I hear he's friends with some charcoal burners. We ain't friends with no redhead. He works as a stable boy in the stud farm. I know where that is, but I don't know no one from there. Take care now. <laughs> Gotta level up. My speech. Still. There is something as still. Anyway, um, talk to me and leave the God be with you. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder has been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. For the love of God, there's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. 
You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Where? Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No. But they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else. May the Lord watch over you. What about this guy? Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for a ginger hair boy. I hear he's friends with some charcoal burners. Well, we ain't friends with no redhead. He works as a stable boy in the stud farm. I know where that is. Farewell. Yeah. Who else am I going to ask? There's only three people here. Is there more people here? Is there someone in here? Uh, nope. Marathon man. I'll take this instead. <laughs> I don't really care about my sprinting speed. I do care about my blood though. I still have some questions about that ginger. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. Yeah. All right, I'll go and ask somewhere else. Good luck to you. Okay. Um. My. <laughs> he just spawned in front of me. Yeah. Uh, let me see the map. Oops, I'm going the wrong in the wrong direction. Now am I going to the right direction? See the wrong. Yeah.
almost night time. Good health to you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? That boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Is he around? No, he's not here. But he passed through not long ago on the way to Tarnberg. You follow the stream to the west and you'll find more charcoal burners there. Good luck to you. Follow well, the stream. Going westward. My God, this better be worth it. My reputation lost. Huh? Why? My god, a horse cannot go up a stream. Where is it? For some reason, I lost reputation by doing nothing yet. Can't seem to find this.
anything here. Nothing here. Oh. Oh. Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? What? Good then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us has found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you, though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhof. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Oh, man, fuck. What's the matter? Ah. Eh. Bucker! <laughs> no, Corva! <laughs> you call that combat? That's not good. I do not know what that means. Now you get what for? Come on. Mm. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Are you going to cry now? Seriously, do not like <sighs> the combat in this game. This land's fallen to the devil. Oh no. Oh no. The dead. The dead are rising. <laughs> oh gosh. Good health to you. I think Ginger is. Hmm. Those bandit name. Well, he acted. What? Well, you might. He disappeared. What? To the. You. Very well, sir. Take care now. Have to run again. Go, Mr. Pebbles. We shall ride again.
Acá. Miren, Dolba. <laughs> Or, nahihilo lang ako. Uy, wow, wow, wow. Ah, I guess a CP ko ngayon. Good day to you. What do you need? Could you help me? Depends what you want. I'm looking for Ginger. Sorry. A murder's been... There's been murder. There'll be a lot less... Calm down. You might... They didn't happen to say... No. Do you have any... For that... Then... All right. Take care now. It was, to be honest, it was already suspicious that uh, the, that the dialogue thing earlier for those two guys were um, to be honest, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know why I'm the only one doing this mission. But yeah, uh, and it's kind of weird that, um, there was like a timer for, there was a timer for that one. For that dialogue earlier. be with you has anyone here seen ginger that boy from the stud farm yes that's the one no take care now
Wait, what am I supposed to find? Um... Oh wait, I can question... I can question some of the people there. Jesus Christ. Do you know where I Who? The stable boy. Oh, I know who you mean. Uh, he went... Farewell. God be with you. Has anyone here seen Ginger? Uh, that boy from the stud farm? Yes, that's the one. Oh, he's not. Take care now. Ask everyone, I guess. Good day to you. I'm looking for Jim. I know him. There's a few questions I need to ask. Well, he'll have to go somewhere else to find him. He doesn't come here much. I really must speak with him. A murder was committed at the stud farm, and that boy probably knows who did it. I have to get him to talk. And you think he had a hand in it? Hard to say. He ran away, but on the other hand, it seems he stabbed one of the attackers. Well, when you put it like that, it's clearly urgent business. I do know him. Uh, not personally, but I've seen him around. He's friends with the charcoal burners down by Townberg. I know he hangs around with the twins there. Downstream by Townberg? Somewhere by the castle? If you follow the river to the west, you're bound to run into them. Oh, one more thing. Yes? Some other men have been around asking about him, but they weren't as uh, convincing as you. Oh well. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we can go. Um. Oh my god! I supposed to go follow the stream uh, hopefully I don't encounter those two guys I don't want to die Going the right direction. I mean, I think I am. Oops, there they are. Be with you. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you? What the hell are you talking about? Don't try that one on me. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here asking about the poor boy. Won't you take care of them? We won't have to hide him anymore. All right, I'll deal with them. And then you'll tell me where you've got Ginger hidden, right? Right. You get rid of them, and I'll tell you. So where can I find these bandits? 
I'm not not all that much. May the Lord watch over you. I don't want to do it. Jesus Christ be. I'm looking for Jin, but they told me at. Well, they must have got themselves. Take care now. Somewhere around. Huh? Repetition lost. Why? Okay. Repetition. Where did I lose repetition? Seriously, have no idea. Where was it? It's around here. Where was it? Somewhere around wait now.
Okay. I'm back. I'll probably save game here. Because I do not want to die. Wait. Drinking is a skill. They were here. By the road, they were camping. I don't know where they've gone. Oh, it's on the other side. Wait. And see them. Um. One speak. I do not know what that means. You call that combat? Oh. You're dead. Oops. Whoops. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 
Gone. Losing so much. Corva fix. I'll gut you like a rabbit. Missed. Yeah. to cry now. Oh my god, na gising na siya. Ah, na si They're both standing. Let me check my skill, my stealth skills.
think the other ones sitting Uh, they're both sleeping. something So dark. Can't video I had to drop all of those hair meat. Oh man, cannot see in the dark. The 
Okay, miss my turn. No, I don't think so. <laughs> that was a fun experience. Letting them sleep and be unarmed. Fighting them. God be with you, good sir. God be with you. It's this guy. God be with you. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I've dealt with them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujit until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. God be with you. Um, where? <sighs> I do not know my status <laughs> or injured right leg, injured left arm, injured torso. Oh. Huh. Ginger. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Why did you run off in such a hurry? Because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognized? 
Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets and he has a limp. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. What fellow? I don't know his name, but he's from Ujits and he has a limp. He limps and he's from Ujits. That's not much to go on, but I suppose it'll have to do. It's all I know. I never talk to him. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. It wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. It was terrible, like hell itself. And then... It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? then? Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Mm -hmm. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. And now tell me exactly what... And don't leave any... That's... You don't have to tell... What else do you... No. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. This horse just straight out of nowhere spawn. <laughs> um, Tomberg. Layo ko na pala. Oh, Armin.
To be honest, I don't want to fight anyone. If I fight anyone, I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Huh? Um I mean I'm still injured. Who do I have to talk to? Oh, Sir Rudzik, you're here. Um, talk to her. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return, man. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognised him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. W why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now I'm supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him? And kill one of my daughters in the process. The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hanish to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. i definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. God bless. Oh my god, I have to tell Ginger again? Oh man. There's no fast travel there. Jesus Christ. Can ride to Talmberg, I guess. Exit. So far, I'm riding in the wrong direction as well. Yeah. Yeah. 
hate that I cannot fast travel through this. Uh. And I'm still injured. You can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd like to give you something, but I've got nothing. Except if you're ever traveling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. And I guess, uh, that's, uh... Um, and then... I have to ride again back to I mean I, I can fast travel so it, it's not really that difficult and I'm back here Jesus Christ be praised. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. <sighs> All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Good luck to oh you. Oh my god. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? What brings you to me? Of course, I'm here to report the thing that the... My Lord. I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. One of the Neuhof stable boys, a, a lad they called Jinjo, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to supply. That's true, but keep to the point. Oh, yes, sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Mm -hmm. When it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. All right, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So oh drop everything God. and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment of Merhaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Why choose Merhaya? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? 
I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? <sighs> True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot, staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out what... I see. What else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Good luck to you. Okay. Uh, game saved. Um... I need to rest. Can I rest here? My health is back to normal. Can wake up and probably eat something. Um, where am I supposed to go? Okay, can fast travel to Tomberg, I guess. And then right from there. direction should I head? It's fine. Yeah. I do not know why they are sending me. Isn't it the soldier's job to do this? this road um. ok 
can turn right there. Here. Yeah. Touch agility further weight. Um, unarmed sword, mace, bow, axe. Why can't there be like a war pike or something? Horsemanship. Good day to you. Good day. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Farewell. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Well. Limpy Lubosh. This is Lubosh. What is happening? citizens move along there's nothing to see here that's what you call nothing to see I'd like to know what something to see looks like by the keys of St. Peter this is all I need we'll have to send word to Sir Hanush that might not be necessary who are you huh? I'm Henry of Scalitz in the service of Hanush's captain Bernard I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof and I think this could be related. Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say he had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you. To Limpy Lubosh. Or all that's left of him. Huh? Oh my. What the hell happened to Limpy Lubosh? 
chakra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Oh my god. What happened to Limpy Lubosh? It's not limping anymore, that's for sure. Who was Limpy Lubosh? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhof raid? I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk. So you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Mm. Jesus Christ be praised. I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. That man Lubosch who was murdered, what was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? Not a clue. Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. That's all. Thank you. It's kind of sad. Jesus Christ. Your clothes. Were you assaulted? Damn bandits. May they burn <laughs> in hell. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Light. I don't know how I can help you, but I... Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday... He turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Do you know what... I don't think he was... That's all. Thank you. God bless. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. I can still talk to them. I've come in the name of... I don't know how... Do you know who Lubosh you... As far as I know, he had... That's all. Thank you. Goodbye. Greetings. What do you need? I have to talk to all of them. I've come in the name of... Ask away. Who was this, Lou? He was a drunkard and a beast. Have you noticed anything sus... The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now I see why... Do you know what Lou... What do I care about that? Mm. Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. That's all. Thank you. God bless. 
Do I have to talk to everyone? Wait. Well, I guess I have to talk to Jesus most of the, most of these people. I've come in the name of Sam. Of course. That man, Luke. He was a drunk. Have you noticed anything? Well, now I think of it. That... Do you know what Luke? Not a clue. Do you know anyone? He was a loner. That's all. Good luck to you. God be with you. I've come in the name of Sir. Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young fellow like you. Well, what do I care? That man Lubosh, who he was a strange one. Have you noticed anything suspicious? I didn't see much of him lately. Not even in the tap. Do you know what Lubosh was doing the day Neuhoff was mm -hmm. raided? I don't think he was home at all. Wait, are you saying he? Oh, Jesus. Do you know anyone Lubos used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? I really don't know. As far as I know, he... That's all. Thank you. Farewell. My god. Yosef. Good day to you. I've come in the name of... I don't know nothing about it, but... Ask all... That man Lubos who was murdered. I didn't... Have you noticed anything... Come to think of it, he wasn't... I was wondering what he was... Do you know mm. what Lubos... I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse... He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only... Do you know anyone Lubos... Not with anyone from the village. He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. That's all. Thank you. Farewell. It was all too. It was terrible. I'm still shaking at the knees. I don't know how am I there. The roof is only fit for fire. Good health to you. I've come in the name. No, I don't know anything. Of... That's all. Thank you. Good luck to you. I uh, just go to the thing. Yes. Yeah. I don't really care about. Uh... Anything else? Where's the church? I see you know how to wield a sword, father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practiced with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by, and it helps keep me in good form. The blessings of our good lord be with you, father. Mm -hmm. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up. I'm not even a child. <laughs> what was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubos don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what Lubos was doing on the day Neuhoff was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? 
I'm bound by certain vows that forbid me to tell you. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son, and one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. For heaven's sake, Father, can you really look me in the eye and tell me that, when you know you may be condemning innocent people to death? I can, because if I broke that vow, the consequences would be much worse than if I didn't. Maybe not immediately, but one day. The mills of God grind slowly. Wait. <sighs> Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try it. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. All right. Farewell. Uh, let me load the game. Because I feel like... I feel like, um, I could have. Not lose reputation. Oh my god, I have to ride again. <laughs> um, this way. Oh. <coughs> Watch what you're doing. There's people walking here. Not even. Not, I'm not even walking. Not even riding my horse. <laughs> not even do. Uh, I'm not even moving. I did not sleep. Can I? Well, anyway. I think I'm lost because because I'm going in the wrong direction. Yep, I missed my turn.
Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Have somewhere to sleep on. I sleep here. <laughs> Want to sleep? <laughs> okay. Missing is one hundred. <laughs> nah, um, make up and uh, do some stuff. Oh my god. Well. Never mind. I don't go. Escape. Already know. Who was limpy? A poor. He kept. How come he limp? Has he been up? Hmm. Did he have any kit? Hmm. Do you happen to? When did you find the body? Just. I just go straight to the to the priest. She sits. My left and right leg are broken.
Hello. Oh. oh. The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lyper, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanosh is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice any- My child. That's really- I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what- Unfortunately- What? I'm bound by- Vows more- There are laws of God. Father, surely you can't- There are things that apply old- But Lubosh is dead. You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you, I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church. If people... Worse than the death of... No one escapes pun... Father, Lubosh was my only... If I don't find... I wouldn't. Suppose we... All right. Farewell. Uh... Why does my energy go down, but I'm only waiting. And I am sitting down, so why, why, why does... I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. He just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. He <coughs> killed anyone who didn't make it to the hey, shelter of the me. castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of a church in Rovna. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... they... My poor child. Oh. May God Make grant it them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened in Noyle? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things, but I take most of it with a pinch of salt. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they yep. didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. 
I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarrelled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosh, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as bad as people claimed. Dreadful. Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your <laughs> turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, mm -hmm. it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again, and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubos told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? Mm. It has to be something top. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. Uh -huh. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing what? for wealth. What is happening? What are we talking about? Any <laughs> you want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you <laughs> robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Amen. <laughs> This Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. Oh. I don't doubt it. <laughs> Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Who preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor? Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I know better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for debauchery? No, I don't. <laughs> what do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. 
If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Huh? Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Cheers! What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Nonsense. <laughs> they can't burn a master of the most respected <laughs> university in Europe. To do. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I hate that dice game. We don't get the rules. Lush. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped, and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. <laughs> well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. Yeah. Expecting more from you. Oh. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. I have to fight them? What's the matter? Say that! Don't worry. What's the matter? Come on. Just have a bit of a punch. Ah! Ah! God damn it. Here we are. Look at this beauty. <sighs> oh, it's a bail. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> uh, climax, man. <laughs> God, when you old goat. Come here. Oh no! The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? No, Henry, no! Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Nitilangs. Ah, nitilang si Henry. Ay nako. God win, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. <laughs> oh, stay funny, my head. Mm, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. You're a beast. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? What the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Huh? How? You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look, from what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it if you stopped gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. How about this? If you help me with this. I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh no, this is a... Uh... Uh...
So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. We'll never get away with it. Not if you make a hash of it. Sorry, but I can't do that. I can't remember a word of that sermon. I feel sick. I don't want to be strung up by a furious mob. As you like. Don't help me, and I won't help you. I thought we were going to be friends. Now I see I was mistaken. Now clear off. I have work to do, as you know. God be with you. Do you need anything? Um... You live here? Of course. I mean hmm. here. In the presbytery. Yeah, right here. In the presbytery? With the parish priest? Yes. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Uh, yes, of course I like you. So why are you surprised Godwin likes me too? I'm not. I mean... I see. I think. <laughs> God bless. Um, I am not wearing anything, am I? doesn't look drunk. Good day to you. I've come in the name of... I don't know how I can help you. Who was this? You could see it... Have you noticed anything? There wasn't sight or... Do you know what Lou Bosch was... I don't think he was... Do you know who Lou Bosch used to spend... As far as I know. That's all. Thank you. May the Lord watch over you. My respects to you. Another thing about... The parish priest. He is indeed. I doubt he acquired those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. He probably learnt to fight, but I heard something happen. Godwin won't tell me who Lubosch's cronies were. I've reached a complete standstill. Don't even mention that so-called priest. He knocked out one of my teeth yesterday. And you were there with him. I ought to cut <laughs> you in the stocks. <laughs> I'll go willingly if you stick Godwin next to me. It'd be worth it just to see him suffer. I can well imagine. I've already told you nobody came here to see him. But now it occurs to me. I did hear he was tried in Rate for some mischief or other. Maybe you can find out something there. The scribe might have made a record of it. Thanks, Bailiff. I never thought of that. And let me give you another piece of advice. Don't go boozing with Godwin again. May the Lord watch over you. Agreed. Agreed. Jay. Let's 
go to Rete, 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 Scarlet, Rogna, Thumberg. Oh, Rete is so far. Okay. Okay, I'm back to Rate. Rate, Rate, Rate. Judging by that ugly gob, you must be Henry. What do you want with me? Miller Peshag described you in detail. Oh. And he was also pretty clear about what we should do to you to jog your memory. Huh? I don't understand. They nursed you back to health at the mill, and somebody had to pay for it. Or have you hit your head again and can't even remember that? But don't worry. We know it's you. How much money do I have? But I'll pay it all back. Just leave me alone. Good thing you've come to your senses. Now hand over the money. How much money do I have? Heavens, lad. You're looking bright-eyed and bushy tight. I'm feeling this good. Oh, I'm glad to hear. About that debt. Here you are. Thank you. I'm glad to see you're a man of honour. Is there anything else I can... Where is... up here this guy good day to you 
I need to have a look in the Black Chronicle, Friedrich. And I need blessed relief from my suffering. May the Lord have mercy. Well, I don't know what I can do for you except bring you a priest. I'm not dying yet. I just can't get up. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm on the trail of those killers from Neuhof, and I need to know the names of the men who were sentenced alongside Limpy Lubosz from Ujitz. I can't remember. Once I write the record down, it goes straight out of my head. It's essential that I find out those names. Is there anything I can do to help you get back to work? I can't go to work when I can't stand on my feet. Konyash the apothecary has an embrocation that helps, but it costs dearly. If you brought me some, it might do the trick. All right, I'll try and get some for you. Good luck to you. And he's standing. He clearly is standing there. I can go up there. Jesus Christ, people. Scribe Friedrich needs the embrocation. What again? He was here not long ago for some. He ought to make it last longer. I told him not to grease himself up so much. It could cause. Oh, the older he gets. The Okay, let's just buy it. Can we do something about the price? Naturally. Naturally. Satisfied? You won't convince me with that. Huh? Ah. Very well, I agree. <laughs> Jesus Christ be praised. Standing there! I bought you the embrocation. And you were right, it certainly wasn't cheap. I know, lad. I've been using it for years. Will you let me have a look at the Black Chronicle? Well, you helped me, so now I'll help you. Come along, and I'll show you our Black Chronicle. That really is a miraculous ointment. You haven't even rubbed it on, and it's already working. You know how it is. <laughs> itself is the greatest healer. 
Just thinking about the relief it will bring makes me feel better. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Come along. May the Lord watch over you. God damn. Guy is just lazy and an addict. Uh, could you find something for me in that book? The thing is, I don't, um... Don't know how to read, do you? So what do you need to know? I'm trying to track down those Neuhoff cutthroats, and I need to find out the names of any cronies of Limpy Lubosch from Ujits. Hmm, give me a while. Good luck to you. So did you find any mention of Limpy in the book? I did. Apart from Lubosch, there's mention of some Anton from Vlashim and Hinek, known as Riki, from Ledechko. Ledechko? That's a stone throw from here. Aye. Certainly closer than Vlashim. Thanks for your help. Thank you for that ointment. Good luck to you. Oh man. <laughs> Oops. Oops. And the lava. Yeah, yeah, I know you're sleepy, but we're almost there. Can sleep on the bed. Um, is this the right place? Oh, it's on the other side. At the other side. <sighs> Open the door. Anorectic. 
What does that mean? Uh, get up. you star oh well I wouldn't mind a bite to eat actually other lead This is my reading comprehension. Um, oh. beer, beer, biber, or biber, or something. These are bad. How do I increase reading? Wait now. Reading. Mightier than the sword, as with other skills, she received it. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I'll get a. Uh, I don't mean to put it all. Mm, 
let's see. Where should they go again? Here. Oh man. <laughs> There's no clear way of going there, so oh will I My boots are dying. Straight. Yeah. That it. Shut it. Think that it is it. But how do I get there? Villager, villager. 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 Yeah. house. Am I trespassing? What the?
Can. My respects to you. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Do you know him? You mean Hinek? He's the Tamar's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try at his folks' house, but he doesn't spend much time there. So you know this Hinek? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Well, no one with a nose likes spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hinek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weakest stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Inex nature's no sweeter than his smell. Hmm. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm, well, like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory and retired for thieving. And in Noyoff, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Adela, I believe she's called. May the Lord watch over you. What then? Can I click where I see the this where the sea is? Um. date you. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. Same dialogue. <laughs> you How is she still asleep? What do you need? I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose no. woman? A sinner? That I seduce decent men? God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye, I've seen him often enough. I don't know what I could tell you about him. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. Uh -huh. What the hell does he get up to there? I, I don't know. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the footpads, looters, cumans, and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. I really don't know what you want from me. So, Hinek is a bit odd and sometimes he goes off into the woods. So what? When did you last see him? A few days ago. And that was on you. I never saw it. So he was acting strangely, though? He was strange. 
I had the feeling he was afraid. Can you remember any... Oh, oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some... I, and then he was talking about the... What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. Oh, just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously, he made it up. Where would a layabout... Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like... So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, mm. nothing. God bless. Why are you suddenly running when you <laughs> mostly just teleport? Yeah. Jesus Christ be praised. I'm looking for your son. Any idea where he might be? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. He next shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radza Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologise if I offended you, young man. <laughs> but still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh, Shut up, peasant. <laughs> Look. It's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. I know Hinnick's no angel. But I just want to ask him about something. I'm not here to accuse him of anything. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago. 
but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. He and Ek make some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. Oh, it's better man. than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where it's hiding? I really don't know nothing about that. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Mm -hmm. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course. All right. I'll ask him. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed. How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. So he probably went through thick woods. I reckon. What? A Go. And if he's really in as much shit as you say, please try and find him. Where do I find his uh, stash? Uh, it's in here somewhere West something Your stash, where is it? Oh, I need um, I need a shovel for it. What's that? Up a shovel here. There is certainly an axe. But no shovels. I know it's some here. Don't have a spade. Fold the things that I would need. It's nowhere to be found. God dang. Somebody
Jesus Christ be praised. Good luck to you. Speed. Noble horses. Speed. Do I need four of these? Or wait long. Check on. Horses. Horseshoes. Do you only need one? You need four. I mean, voices have four legs, I guess. Oh my god, it costs 371 per shoe. Can we do something about the price? Hmm. All right, so. Agree? That's a poor offer. I'll go for that. Men. Get the speed. <laughs> Objective, get the speed. Nothing. Standing, sir. Anything else? Is someone there? No. be with you. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. Then ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Riki. 
It only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnex. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still mm -hmm. owes me some goods. Um... Um, 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 um. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him. And it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. <laughs> well, give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But... A tankard here! But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so he had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes mm -hmm. they gently hear something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. <clears throat> and do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine mm -hmm. gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. To do. God be with you. Bailey. Um. Is there somewhere I could sleep here? Aye, there's room here. For how long? Just the one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? Is this enough? That's not enough. Mm -hmm. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud it is. Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. Everything's prepared for you there. May the Lord watch over you. Mm. Ben. Okay, I will uh, sleep and save. Um. Uh, then I'll probably end it here. You have four hours of uh, gaming today. Gaming, I don't know. Anyway. And it is saved. Uh, I'm not. It's good that I am no longer. Um, gonna be using my savior snaps anyway yes 
And that is it. See you on Friday. Uh, I'll be playing Dauntless instead of uh, playing League. Uh, I'll play League after December, I'd say. Anyway, maraming salamat, maraming salamat. See you on Friday. Ciao.